Now, a couple of weeks back, we looked at how crucial it is to act fast if someone's having a stroke, Joe. FAST stands for the early warning signs, which are facial drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulties, and then time to call emergency services. Recognising these early signs is so important in increasing a person's chance of survival and making a good recovery. And now there's a new weapon in the fight against stroke. It's a potentially game-changing drug. What makes this really quite extraordinary is that it's the first major development in the treatment of stroke in more than 20 years. Experts are calling it the holy grail of stroke drugs. Here's Professor Sean Jackson. Sean, we constantly hear that time is of the essence when it comes to strokes. Why is that the case? So when you have a blood clot on the brain, you're preventing blood flow and that's leading to lack of oxygen, glucose and nutrients. So parts of the brain starts to die and that occurs pretty rapidly. So unless we get the patients to hospital quickly, unless we open up the blood vessels and get restored blood flow to the brain, that part of the brain will die and that will lead to permanent disability. So time is absolutely of the essence. The quicker we get you to hospital, the quicker we get you treated, the better, better the outcome for the patient. Can you describe the two different kinds of strokes? Yeah, the, the vast majority of strokes we see in Australia are due to a blood clot. And so that blocks one of the major arteries supplying blood to the brain. In about 15% of strokes, it can be due to a bleed and you know, that's a challenge for us, treating these patients, because someone comes to a hospital with stroke, we straight away don't know which one it is, and so we have to do a lot of tests to work that out, and it's important because it affects how you, how you treat the patient. So if you have a blood clot stroke and you reach the hospital quickly enough, what is the standard treatment? So we have two treatment options. The first is a drug called TPA, and it's... The function of TPA is to dissolve blood clots and to improve blood flow. The other option is we can actually retrieve the clot. We can use a device and pull the clot out and unblock your artery. Unfortunately, with either treatment, we can only uh, treat a relatively small percentage of all stroke patients, and, th and that's a big problem. Unfortunately, the majority of stroke patients still don't get enough benefit, and that's why we have a lot of death and disability in the, in the community. And so we, we really need to improve on our treatment options. Yeah, so TPA has been around a long time. You know, we've, we've, it was developed back in the, in the 80s and 90s for stroke with, you know, enormous potential, enormous potential to revolutionise stroke treatment. And, and in, in many patients, it has a great effect and they, they have a good outcome. Unfortunately, the majority don't get that great effect and we, and we actually know why we know the limitations of the drug and we've been working for many decades to try and come up with new treatments to add on top of tpa and to improve the ability to unblock blood vessels and improve blood supply and now i understand there is a new treatment that can eliminate those risks yeah so we know what we need to improve tpa and we know that from treating patients who've had a heart attack. So if we add aspirin, which is a, an important uh, blood thinner, we get a much better outcome when aspirin's combined with TPA. When we do the same studies in stroke and add aspirin with TPA, unfortunately, we get this bleeding on the brain, which, as, a, as I mentioned, is catastrophic. So we've been working for many years to try and get a safer aspirin, a drug that you can use with TPA without bleeding. And that's what we're really excited about because our studies show that these... These new drugs are unprecedented. They just don't cause bleeding. Uh, so we're really excited to see how they perform in our, in our stroke trials next year. You talk about research and obviously there's so many trials of new drugs going on all the time. How do you rate the impact of this one? So, Joe, there's been literally a 1,000 different approaches trialled in stroke, A 1,000. Only one drug's ever been approved, and that's TPA. So we knew when we started this journey, this is one of the toughest you know, research assignments you could possibly get. That's why it's taken us so long. It's been painstaking uh, research, but if we're right, and if this treatment does what we believe it's going to do, it could have a profound impact because the 16 million people every year around the world has a stroke. And it's one of the most difficult areas of medicine uh, to develop new therapies. So, you know, we're, as I said, we're, we're pretty excited that this could make 
a very significant difference, not just in Australia, of course, but, but ultimately globally. About 14 million people around the world are affected every year. So that is a staggering number, Dar. Extraordinary, isn't it? Every 19 minutes, an Australian will have a stroke. So we'll be watching the results of the upcoming human trials with great interest.